everybody. So today I am having to make 20 pumpkin rolls as a fundraiser for my church. So I thought I would go ahead and show you all how I do it. So thankful, thankfully my best friend Brittany <laughs> came over to help me record. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is grease your pan. Some people use plastic bag. I tried that this morning and didn't like it. So I'm just going to use the old fashioned paper towel. And and the reason you actually grease your pan is because um, it helps the wax paper to come out when you dump it. Some people spray it. I use Crisco. Now you're going to take your wax paper and line your pan with wax paper. And then you're going to grease your wax paper. And this, you want to make sure you get your wax paper grease very well, especially the corners and the edges, the sides. Okay, so for the cake mixture, what you will need is three quarter cup all purpose flour, one teaspoon of the following, baking powder, baking soda, ground cinnamon, and ground cloves. You'll need a quarter teaspoon of salt. You'll need one cup of white granulated sugar, three eggs, and two-thirds cup of pumpkin, which my extra secret is to use extra pumpkin. And this is pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix your dry ingredients together first. Your flour, your baking powder, your baking soda, your cloves, and your cinnamon. And then your quarter teaspoon of salt. You'll just whisk those together. set aside. Alright, you want to beat together your eggs, your three eggs, and your one cup of sugar until it gets thick. And then you want to add in your pumpkin. After that's blended very well, you will mix your dry ingredients in. I do about half. <laughs> and then half. And in an oven preheated to 375, you will bake it for about my well 12 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. My oven is hot and it only needs 12 minutes. Oops. You will spread your mixture out evenly. Okay. 
make sure you don't see any low spots. Then what I do is I'll take my pin and shake and bang it just a couple times and it spreads it out pretty good. In the center of the oven and we will bake for 12 minutes, 12 to 15. So on a dish towel or cheesecloth or whatever you have, you are going to put powdered sugar all over it. Do not hesitate on the powdered sugar. Alright, so you want your cake to be stringy. Alright, so you want to flip your cake immediately onto your towel and watch the sugar fly. <laughs> careful because your pan will be hot. It just came out of a 375 degree oven. You want to loosen. Oh, I got powdered sugar in my mouth. <laughs> you want to kind of loosen your edges of your cake. And here is where your patience comes in. You will Start to peel the wax paper back. Hey. Boom, boom. And so if it sticks, just push it down. But this is why you grease and grease and grease and grease your pans. And then just very slowly peel your wax paper back. It does get blurry when you get up close. There you go. Now, you want to roll your cake. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it does. And put it in the refrigerator for probably about an hour. Okay, so for the cream cheese filling, you will need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, six tablespoons of butter, one pack eight ounce of cream cheese, and one cup of powdered sugar sifted. All right, so for your filling, um, you want to combine all of your ingredients together. All right, then you're just going to mix. Alright, and you will just beat that until it is very creamy. Okay, so once your pumpkin roll is completely cooled and has been in the refrigerator for an hour or so, you just want to carefully unroll it. Watch my hands. There you go. And you will start putting in your cream cheese. And then just spread.
Now, if you're, if you want nuts in your pumpkin roll, now is when I put them in. I do not put them in the cake batter. I just do not like the way it looks. So, just sprinkle them around. I can I get over how pricey nuts are. I know. I think this this bag was like seven bucks. I just, it's beyond. All right, so once you've got all that done, you're just gonna roll. Oh my gosh, it's, it looks so good. just kind of, because most of the cream cheese is in the middle, I just kind of push it out a little bit. And there you go.